Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hey friends, now in this topic we are going to talk about the anomalous behavior of oxygen and now let us understand basically how basically the dioxygen is very much different from that of the other members of the group 16. So that is what we are going to talk about. So now let us talk about this topic. So friends, here are the certain points for which we could understand that is why oxygen is different from the other of the elements that are being belonging to the group 16. So talking about the first point that is physical state. So talking about dioxygen, first of all, the dioxide is actually a gaseous molecule. While the rest of the one, they are basically solid in state. So this is what I was talking about the physical state and obviously because of this point, it clearly indicates that oxygen is completely different from the rest of the group of rest of the group 16 members and now let me talk about the next one that is atomicity for example if we talk about dioxin molecule then it has been found that is the oxygen that is the dioxin is a diatomic molecule while the rest of the elements that are belonging to group 16 they are polyatomic molecules for example if we talk about that is sulfur sulfur is present in the form of s8 and that means it has basically eight atoms of sulfur in a molecule so this is related to sulfur and now this is what it indicates that oxygen is a diatomic molecule and that's it and now let us move on to the next one that is magnetic property so it has been found through molecular orbital diagram also that is the oxygen is basically it is paramagnetic in nature While the rest of the molecules they are basically diamagnetic nature so this was related to the three points and now let us understand the next points so talking about the next one that is oxidation state so we have got to know that is the oxygen is the one that has acquirement of that is minus two oxidation state and we cannot increase the oxidation state of oxygen unless it is basically a molecule that is suppose if we talk about that is of2 but Suppose if we are talking about that is dioxygen, so in that case we will get to know that is the oxygen is the one which will acquire basically zero oxidation state whenever we are talking about that is O2. So now this is related to the oxidation state and now let me talk about the next one that is hydrogen bonding. Whenever the oxygen forms hydrides, so in that case basically the oxygen is the one which is more electronegative and that's the reason that it will make the other molecules or other molecules which consist of hydrogen atom along with that so they can form a hydrogen bonding and that's the reason that water water forms more hydrogen bonding compared to that of the rest of that is suppose if we compare to h2s h2s is in fact a gas so that's the reason that there is no possibility of forming a hydrogen bond in a room temperature but the thing is at room temperature h2 in that case we see the hydrogen bonding is present and that's the reason that h2 is present in a liquid form so that's the reason we could say that is hydrogen bonding is present or it could be that is exhibited by the oxygen atom in the whole group 16 so now let me talk about the next that is nature of compound so it has been found that is because of the oxygen which is more electronegative so therefore the compounds that have been formed they are basically ionic in nature the reason behind that is because oxygen has an oxidation state of minus 2 and while the rest of the compounds that I'm talking about so suppose if I'm talking about H2S that is in that case basically the sulfur will acquire minus 2 charge on it and suppose if I'm talking about the another example that is Sc2 minus so in that case it has been found that is they are not very much ionic in nature compared to that of the molecule which has oxygen which acquires minus 2 charge on it so therefore the oxygen is basically exhibits ionic nature and now let me talk about the next point so if i talk about the next point that is multiple bonds obviously we understand that is the oxygen is the one that can form that is p pi p pi bonds and that's the reason that whenever